Hi, this is Brian from Menpart, and I just got a harebrained idea. We're going to talk about nanometers and how small they are. Well, I have this human hair right off my head. Wikipedia says the average human hair is three thousandths of an inch thick. We all know how that looks, right? But how does it compare to a nanometer? Well, let's pretend. Let's expand the diameter of this hair up to, say, the height of the Empire State Building. Well, I happen to have an Empire State Building right here. Now, it stretches 102 floors up into the sky and reaches 443 meters off the ground. That's a long ways. That's equal to about five American football field lengths. If our hair uh, cross-section was that tall, then a human blood cell would reach to the 10th floor. A bacteria would reach to the third floor. Human DNA would be about a foot and a half tall and a nanometer, just one quarter of an inch. So wow, that's really tiny, right? What does it look like numerically? In metric, uh, by definition, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter. So after the decimal, there's eight zeros before we get to the one. Now, if I wanted to show that using a Lego block, this is one of my kids' Lego blocks, it's about three millimeters thick, I would have to stack a billion of these on top of each other, and that stack would stretch 3,000 kilometers. Wow, that's over 1,800 miles. Now, in terms of inches, a nanometer is 39 billionths of an inch. Okay, so there that is. If we use the same block to represent a nanometer, to get to an inch, I'd have to stack enough of these to get 5.9 miles long. So you can see a nanometer is really, really tiny.